and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a really easy fly and this one is called the plume tip and I got the inspiration or I saw this on CDC CADIS blog so I will link it right in the description below so if you want to check it out it's in German so if you don't speak German you can look at the great images and get some um, inspiration too to tie some flies so this one is a really easy one the only materials that we're going to use are wing material and for the body the hook I have is the partridge this one is their standard dry size 16 SLD2 and barbless hook as always and the first material is going to be some CDC here I have some in the color beige or tan or light tan you could also tie this I think it would work really well if you tie it with a grey wing or a slightly whiter one or just a dark one if you find it easier to see. And then the body, here you could use any kind of dubbing that you like, you could also use some maybe even peacock curl and pheasant tail and all kinds of materials. What I'm going to use is some SLF, this one is their spiky dubbing in the color, it's called natural fox. So this is just this nice natural color with a few green synthetic fibers and also a little bit of antron I think mixed in, some clear antron mixed in with it so it's easier to dub and makes for a nice buggy body. And for the thread I'm going to use some GSP from Vivas, this one is their 30D which is like an 18 knot. this one is in white. So you you could also use any thread and any color that you like. This one will just blend in with the, any other color that you use. So I'm quite pleased with the white one. So I'm going to start right behind the eye. Put down a few turns of thread. Just catch your thread then get up to the eye again. And here I'm going to cut off the excess. And now we're going to tie in as the first material is going to be our wing and here I'm going to choose two CDC feathers that are approximately the same size and I like these smaller ones they have almost no stem and also some fluffy fibers so it makes for a real nice winging material so I'm going to pair these up align the tips and then stroke all the fibers towards the front so you get this little like plume as the fly is called and then we want to measure the length of this to be about the length of the hook you will also tie this a little bit longer this will only add a little bit more floatability to your fly and I'm going to tie this in right behind the eye and here we have to make sure that this stays right on top and in the center we don't want these materials to go around the hook and then holding this I make a few wraps and then going towards the back I'm going to bind this down and after a few turns I'm going to cut the excess off at an angle and this is going to taper the body so it, we're going to make a nice underbody for the dubbing and then I'm going to go down the whole way binding the ends down and then I like to stop mine just slightly longer or slightly behind the point of the hook. You could also go a little bit further. I just like to tie these with a little bit shorter body. And as I said before, the body is going to be this SLF spiky dubbing. And this one is the natural fox. And I'm going to take the smallest pinch ever. We don't want to overdo the dubbing on this one. I'm going to dub a really thin and quite short dubbing noodle on this size 16 you don't need much and this is a pattern that you can tie down any size that you want you can also tie this down I think to sizes 30 and thereabouts it's just so easy these two materials if you tie these smaller you can also just use one CDC feather instead of two so you don't overdo this and then I'm going to bring up 
the dubbing and as we had this nice tapered underbody the body is also going to be tapered naturally I'm just going to add a little bit more of this dubbing to build up a slightly thicker thorax and to bring this up right to the eye then I'm going to bring back this these two CDC feathers or the wing just making a few turns right in front this is going to help this stand out at a slight angle and also keep these together a little bit better and then the last thing to do is to whip finish you could also add some either super glue or varnish or some UV resin to the head I'm going to do two whip finishes two three pull tight cut off your thread then I'm going to readjust the wing and this as we see it now the fly will not float like this once it's in the water it's going to float more like this so it's going to imitate this can Im imitate almost any kind of nymph or pupa that's going to emerge on the surface of the water so it can be a midge pupa, it can be a caddis, it can be a mayfly all kinds of insects are going to go through about the same motion it's going to go from the bottom up to the top of the water to the surface and then it's going to spread the wings and then fly away and this is just one of these really simple patterns that can imitate almost all kinds of insects and I think that's why it's so effective and I also think that the emergers are one of the most effective patterns as the insect is going to be really vulnerable as it's going through this nymph stage up to the adult stage so this is one of these nice patterns that you can tie a whole lot in just a few minutes and you can tie these in all kinds of different sizes and also in different colors to suit your waters or weather conditions and insects that are hatching so there we have the plume tip thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time